Hi there, my name is Bill, and this is going to be a very, very short video on architectural drafting as applied to AutoCAD LT. First of all, we've got a full drawing here already done, but we're going to just show you around what is on the drawing and so on and so forth. So starting right in, we have this thing in the corner, left-hand corner, it's a little triangle, and it's the paper space icon. Uh, at the moment, we're in a, an area called paper space. And if I click on that, that's a piece of text, multi-line text, that's in paper space. Press escape twice and select it. This little thing here, if I just select that and check its properties, is called a viewport. It's at the moment, it's just a rectangular hole that's been cut into the paper to view what is all that stuff that's inside there. For instance, if I press escape a couple of times, if I try to select anything there, I can't select it because I'm in paper space, whereas out here I can select it. So the viewport, if we look more closely at what it's telling us, it's telling us a viewport, it's telling its colour, it's all the things about what it is. It tells us the scale it is, um, and various other things that we don't really want to know about. The main thing that we want to know that is, is it a 100, one, 1 to 100 scale? Okay, so, and this one over here, this thing that I've clicked on before, is just, well, it's going to try, it's trying to tell you both things at once here, so I need to hold down shift, unselect that one, and it will tell us it's a polyline. A polyline is just the same as a line. A line is just a single line, obviously. A polyline is a joined up series of lines forming one, one complete thing. And it tells us the color, the layer, everything all about that polyline is, 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 is there. And you can alter things, like for instance, global width, you might like it to be five millimeters. Hit enter and see how that changed immediately. So if I don't want what I've just done, I can press a U for undo on the command line down the bottom here. Whoops, just go U for undo, hit enter, and the last thing I've done is undone. And you can keep pressing undo, 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 and go right back to wherever. Okay, so that's paper space. This is the title block down here. Now you'll see some grey, grey things with the text in, inside it. That is, they are what they call fields. So if, say for instance we want to find out about that field, we could right click it and we could go to the properties. And first of all it's telling us it's M text up top there. So if we double click that, There's, there's the, we could alter that M text, but if we see there, now we're being told it's a field. So a field is a special thing that's it's hauling that information off of somewhere else. It's basically what you need to know at the moment is those grey things are fields. Okay, now... If we look down at the bottom of the screen, we see we have a floor plan, we have elevations, we have sections, we have roof framing plans, and so on. All the, all the things, the details, they're all paper space, little layout tabs. So if we want to switch from ground floor plan to elevations, we can do that by just be clicking on there and waiting for a minute while it comes up. It's a little bit slow. Uh, and that's the same thing. It's a series of viewports. That's a viewport. That's a viewport. Okay. Now that those viewports are on a layer called VP. And they, the person that set this drawing up, made sure that the that layer did not print. Okay. Now we're talking about layers. 
Um, we'll click up here to get our layer dialog box. And if we scroll down to VP, there's VP. If we color it and go along, 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 along. See there is where it says plot. It's got a little, no, no, I'm not going to plot that. Okay, so just explaining a little bit about the layer dialog box now. Um, obviously, we have status up there. We have name, pretty obvious things. And just to make it life really confusing for you, Autodesk has given us the ability to have the layer on or off or freezed, frozen or unfrozen. And over here, we have something that I found great difficulty with because I've never used them before. These are called layer filters. So, for instance, if we wanted to see how somebody did set up uh, the foundation, whoops, I double clicked it, it's a bad habit. The foundation filter, everything that begins with FD is in this filter. So, if I double click that, there's our lab, the filter name, and there's the definition there. In other words, it says, well, look, if I find everything with FD, this asterisk means anything after that. So, so there's the preview. Everything with FD in front, and if all the bits left after it. So, that's very, very handy if you want to say, okay, I'm going to draw a foundation now. So you click on there, and bing, you've not got all those other layers, thousands of layers looking at you. You say, right, I want to draw a foundation. And you click on that line there, and you say, look, I want to make that my current drawing line, um, layer. Sorry. And, for instance, there's um, root framing, or RF, anything with RF in front of it. So it's, a, it's quite a logical system, and while it takes a bit, bit of getting used to, it took a bit of getting used to for me, I can see where they, they're coming from, and it's very good. So there is, it's nice and simple. You've got text, you've got lines, you've got viewports. It's not, it's not that complicated, really. Now, the complication begins when we press this button down here, the model tab, and I purposely left all of this, opening it up, and what do we see here is, is one great big pile of spaghetti with everything all over on top of each, each other. That's because all the layers are thawed, and you, you various viewports, for instance, if I click on this one here, check out its properties, there's ground floor, new dimension. Okay, so if I, no, when I click on, press escape twice, click on, say, that one there, and check out it. Now, foundation, new dimension. So, there's a lot of living of things on the same place. The theory is that you will... Uh, not make a mistake because your foundation will always, if, if you put the foundation too big, it would show up there. But of course it doesn't. But, here we go. We can go into our uh, properties manage, manager and say, for instance, we just wanted to know about foundation. We could um, select all those. Oops. Hold, down, hold down shift and click the last one. And if we right click, we can uh, invert a selection and then go back to all and freeze everything else off. So everything, everything else, oh, do it. Okay, so everything from there to there will freeze off. No. You have to do it in, uh, in here. See, if there's foundations all, all there, select it all right click, invert your selection, and 
press the freeze button. Okay, so now when we go back to the drawing, all we're left with is the foundation. So you could you could conceivably work quite happily like that. But it's on an angle, which is somebody set it up to be north running that way. By the way, this this little icon down in the left hand corner, if I press World UCS, which is that one there, World UCS, it's, it is, as far as the world is concerned, this house is on an angle. But if we go out to the foundation details, back out in the paper space, and it gets there. See, everything else is frozen off, but this is now around at the right angle. It's It's been set up in this viewport to be in the right angle. Notice that all the title block and everything, all that else, other stuff has been thawed or uh, frozen off. So how do you get that so that it's looking nice on the screen? Well, there's many ways. One of them is you can choose the object UCS. So you pick object and see how that's now snapped around to there. So now if we type the magic word plan, this is plan, enter an option, current UCS. Well, yes, it is current. And now we're now we're in business. We're the UCS is now around there. Okay, so now if I wanted to thaw everything off, I could go up here and go through all this dialog box and so on and so forth, but AutoCAD has a command line. You can do this sort of thing. You can go dash LA and hit enter. That means I want a command line version of the layer dialog, dialog but it's not dialog at all. It's just a, a very lightweight way of getting there. So I want a T for thaw. And if I hit star, it means thaw me the lot. And I hit enter just to make sure I've ended, ended it. So I've got the whole lot there. So now if you look here, there's an interesting thing in the elevation here. See, all this stuff underneath is all drawn. So that's obviously its section has been drawn on top of that elevation there. So if I go out to the elevation, you'll see when it comes out, the elevation, that's not there. The reason for that is because if we click click in the viewport, see now the viewport's now alive. So if I were to draw a line in there, it should appear. And uh, But those white lines, they're not there. So if we go and open up the dialog box we see they've called anything to do with a section see there's a section there that one there ah there's another thing too this dialog box is so wide that sometimes it's better to actually move that so that a little bit over so that you can just see that that and that so these these things are movable see that is frozen off in the viewport so viewport freezing on a per viewport basis that's what that's called even though it's thawed here it's still frozen over there so that's a very useful um, thing to have because it means that your elevation is is coming off of something that's been drawn in a true section and something that I found very disconcerting because everything is on top of each other but if you you were to choose your um, setup for doing the sections you obviously you're going to draw your section first before you draw your elevation so you've got that shape then all you have to do is draw over the top of it to get those elevation lines. Okay, thanks.